Hi, my name is Bill Weiss. I'm the author of the book, 23 Minutes in Hell, and thank you for watching. I want to talk to you today about the spiritual world is real. Now, have you ever thought about why the afterlife is real? Well, the main reason is that Jesus Christ said so. He said only two places exist where people will go after they die, heaven or hell. In Matthew 25, 46, Jesus said, And these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Now, the second most important reason is there are at least 150 scriptures about just hell alone in the Bible and many verses about heaven as well. Now, I'm going to focus on just hell for today. Now, another reason hell is real is because there are credible people who have seen it. Some have had a near-death or clinical death experience or a God-given vision of hell. Now, yes, there are some who experience something hellish that may have been a result of drugs or an occult or demonic experience or fabricated. Uh, they fabricated an experience simply for attention. They may or may not have actually had a glimpse of hell. But just because their story might bear skepticism, it shouldn't nullify the more credible experiences. You know, counterfeit dollar bills exist, but you don't throw away the real dollar bills. Now, some of you have heard my, me share my experience, the vision God gave me of, of hell, or you may have read my book, 23 Minutes in Hell. Now, I explained in detail what I saw, heard, and felt in this place of torment. But more importantly, I knew it was real because God tells us hell is real throughout the pages of the Bible. Everything I saw and wrote about is already in the Bible. So that is what's important for a person to believe. Jesus speaks about hell in 46 verses. Now it's interesting that according to a 2021 Pew Research survey, 73% of U.S. adults believe in heaven and 62% believe in hell. So less believe in hell. And a 2015 Barna poll showed that less than one half of 1% believe they will actually go to hell. Yet Jesus said in Matthew 7 that many are going to hell and few are going to heaven. Now deep down inside, people know there is more beyond this physical, material world. Now the secular world tells us we have a subconscious mind. Well, that is their term for our spirit, which is eternal. The Bible tells us we are a spirit being. Our spirit lives in a physical body and we possess a soul, which is a mind, will, and emotions. Now, God, will put, God has put eternity in man's heart so he knows there is something after this life. And in addition, all creation shows detailed and specific design. Therefore, a designer must exist. So the truth is people know they are accountable to their creator. They may ignore God or even say he doesn't exist, but their heart tells them otherwise. Now, perhaps you've had a near-death experience or you saw yourself outside of your physical body, or perhaps you've encountered a demon or an angel, or you've experienced the presence of pure evil, or you've experienced the presence of God's love, or you may have had a spiritual dream where God was attempting to warn you or communicate with you. The bottom line is the spirit world is real. Now, after Judgment Day, Revelation 20, verses 14 and 15 tells us death and hell are cast into the lake of fire, and anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into this lake of fire. This is the future hell, and Jesus called it Gehenna. Now, the Bible describes hell as a place full of fear, torment, darkness, sorrow, burning fire, punishment, confusion, horrible odors, wailing and gnashing of teeth, a place of shame, no mercy, no purpose, no rest, no peace, and no hope. Now, Jesus Christ, who claimed to be God and rose from the dead and proved it he was, was God, he says heaven and hell are real. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ also said that every person must turn from sin and trust in him alone for their salvation. Now, the most valuable thing you possess is your soul because it's eternal. Now, in Mark 8, 36, Jesus said, For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul?